we are talking about uh, to begin with is um, this kind of misconception of um, being too old to learn music. That's something that I hear a lot um, adults say is, I'm too old to learn this, or um, I'm too old to learn piano. Um, I'm here to dispel all of that. And uh, I think uh, so is Kevin. Um, we've talked about it a lot in the past. Um, and uh, I just want to share a little story with you. Um, I had this student, and I didn't realize how old she was, and she was learning guitar. Actually, it was a friend of mine's student, and I was subbing for a couple weeks. And she says, um, she gets to the lesson, and she says to me, Mark, I am so sorry I did not practice um, what you were, what you told me to, uh, or I just, or she said I didn't get it. Um, and uh, I said, you know, don't worry about it. It's, um, you have plenty of time to learn this stuff. And uh, she said, no, I don't. I'm 83. And uh, <laughs> we both kind of laughed. And um, I guess, you know, I thought about it a lot afterwards. And, and she is, uh, but she was there um, and trying to learn new things and trying to learn music and taking it seriously. And it was very inspiring to me. Um, so... Uh, I think adults, real. I think you really need to know what you want, pick a direction, and um, be really um, dedicated um, to your practice schedule and um, learning a new instrument or learning music. Um, so there's that. Um, the other thing, um, the other misconception that I want to talk about for a section for a second is um, that phrase of you either have it or you don't. That's something that I've heard several times and I don't subscribe to that one either. Um, I remember my band director, um, Greg McKelvey in Portland, said to me once, um, it's not you either have it or you don't, it's you either have it or you won't. And I think that what he meant by that was that um, Again, you need to you need to practice. You need to take it seriously. Um, you need to devote your time um, to learning an instrument. Um, and uh, he was an incredibly hard worker himself, and and uh, that work ethic is something that I um, strive to uh, match uh, every day with music. Um, okay, and the last thing that I want to talk about is. Um, is something that I share with my students a lot. And uh, it's a phrase that I tell them often. And that is, is the best thing that I can teach you today is how to teach yourself. And um, that's really a, a really important thing because um, it's not just music lessons that we teach there. Um, we teach uh, how to live and how to be a good person. And, um, and it starts with um, how to teach yourself and, and how uh, to approach a new piece of music um, and uh, breaking, breaking things down into small bits um, uh, so that you can learn a, a larger um, whatever you're working on, a larger project. Um, so I always try to, um, to break down um, the things that my students work on um, into really small things um, so they can have success with it. Um, if you approach um, a new piece of music and it just looks, you know, just black with notes and just all kinds of rhythms, um, you could get frustrated just by looking at the page. Um, so breaking things down into small things and that transfers into other aspects of learning. Um, and other aspects of education. So that can be applied to your schoolwork or um, to whatever you're um, trying to learn. So um, I hope that you found this uh, interesting and uh, maybe learned something. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.